On the last part, Yoshi got pussy, but Mario did not. <laughs> I mean, just look at that. Yoshi is sitting on Yoshi. I mean, pr Princess Peach is sitting on Yoshi. What a shame. I mean, Mario just did all that work, and it's just... He's gonna need a masturbation barrel. I mean, this was just too much for him. <laughs> Uh, this is just, I mean, he went through nine worlds to get to find all 96 exits for this woman. And what, and what happens? She just, she sits on Yoshi and just has sex with him right in front of Mario. Okay, maybe it's not, but you know what's gonna happen later. She loves her dinos. Or dragons. That's why she lets herself get kidnapped by Bowser a lot. She likes those rep... <laughs> reptile beings, you know. I mean, how else would do you think that Bowser had all those kids? I mean, he had seven kids. I think there was a lot of boom boom happening through the first uh, couple Mario Brothers games. I mean, Peach got kidnapped in the first and third Mario Brothers games. Why else would Bowser want the princess? I mean, he he could take over the uh, world without, I should say, the Mario world without him. I mean, come on. I mean, Pr Princess Peach isn't really that strong a per of a person that he needs to kidnap her all the time, right? M maybe she's just like a high-end figure, but judging from what you've just seen there, she's just a whore. I mean, she just whores herself out to any dinosaur that comes along, and look, they're gonna have a four-dino orgy. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you for the sex. No, they're, the babies aren't going to have orgies with them. I mean, that would, she's not a pedo, I mean. <laughs> and we got the enemy list. Enemy lists are great, so we can see all the enemies in the game. games. And you'll notice that they have a slight palette change, like the char charging chuck down here. And uh, just a jumping pumpkin plant, that a, was a piranha plant. <laughs> There's a Pidget Bill, which is, used to be a Bullet Bill. See, that's why I don't like the uh, sprite change. That when you beat all the special stages, that's what happens. Is that all the? I mean, a lot of the sprites change. The palette for the worlds change. And I just don't like it. And uh, yeah, if, if I had a choice, and if I knew how to turn it back, I would turn it back. And like the Ko the Koopas, they get masks that look like Mario. Yeah, that's just ugly in my opinion. <laughs> I want the shells. The shells are cuter. Well, um, it looks like that this walkthrough is coming to an end. I had an absolutely amazing time doing this 96 exit run. After the credits finish, oh, it is a Rip Van Fish, huh. and those uh, spiny things are called urchins. Anyway, we had a wonderful, I mean, I hope you had a wonderful time as well. This was definitely one of my best achievements, because as I said, I kind of suck at Mario games, but judging from the amount of lives that I had after beating Bowser, okay, I have confidence back in Mario games again. I pretty much own this one, despite the trouble in the special stages, but those are just designed to be absolutely nuts. I would say that they rival some of the Mario hacks that I've seen people play on YouTube. I mean, nothing like Kaizo Mario or something like that. Just like uh, your regular Mario hack, that hard Mario level pack or something like that, is basically what you'd find if you looked at a hack. Oh, to see Mega Koopas. And, uh, yeah, well, there's all the kids that Pe Princess Peach has spawned. Man, they must have done it a lot in Bowser's Dungeon. And, uh, yep, that's the end of the game. It's been fun, guys. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot press the button on this screen to get out of it. Look at this. I'll just press a whole bunch of buttons, and you, you cannot do anything here. And Yeah, so you gotta reset the game to get back to the title screen. So let's just do that and check out our 96 exit save file. There it is, baby. Isn't it a beauty? Yep, the first <laughs> 96 exit run I did on the SNES version of the game. Well, I have done every single one of the games that were in my polls. This game came last, but evidently I chose three great games. Donkey Kong Country, Kirby Superstar, and Super Mario World. Because on every one of my polls, 
the results came down to just one vote. So, yeah, I guess I chose some really good games this time. And I'm gl <clears throat> So I guess I would did not disappoint anyone, so to speak. <laughs> Since I did all three games and people voted for other ones, you can now get to see the game that you wanted. Okay, in some form or another time, whatever. They all got done. So, uh, yep, this is going to be a short part because I just wanted to show the credits because I was running low on camera time, so I beat Bowser a second time. It is certainly much easier to beat Bowser when you're not talking and playing stupidly. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next walkthrough. Hope you liked it. Bye, guys. Woo! 96.